natural state of the human body is health, energy, and vitality. That's our natural state, but a lot of us are living these lifestyles that are draining energy from us, and we wonder why we shut it down, we wonder why we have these energy dips. But this morning, here, boom, five o'clock, wide awake, literally, waiting for the gym to open at six o'clock. And that energy will be sustained throughout the whole day. And out of all of you people here, be honest, hands up if you'd like some more energy in life. Be honest, tell me. If you had that more energy, what would you do with it? You could put that energy into your business. You can actually have more productivity. You can put that energy into your own mind, into your own body. You can put it into your relationships. You can put it into your children, into your loved ones. It changes the way that you live life. So what I learned was I got into gymnastics. I was told by the medical industry to not do any sport because every time I tried to breathe, my chest would shut down, my asthma would kick in, and they would say, don't do it. And what I learned was what makes the body I had mum over one side, but dad over the other in a court, and I had to go and choose who what I was going to go and live with. Now, something else I learned through that process, a lot of us have these emotional challenges. We start making emotional decisions instead of a decision that's going to move our life forward in the best way. So going through that family breakup at such a young age, and being the weirdo in school, I learned how to control the emotions. Because if you let the emotions control you, if you're in a negative emotion, you will make a negative decision. A decision that you're going to have to go back and remake until it's a more empowered decision for you to move your life in the direction where you want to move it. So between 11 and 18, my weight went up and down, all my allergies, all the symptoms, they all started to come back again, and I got completely overweight, and that's when I started to do something really weird. And it's going to be weird for some of you guys, but it's just as weird as this. Who is everything? Every single one of you are sat here. You all have different thoughts. What I'm saying to you now is having a different reaction in every single one of you. So knowing that our belief system is everything, only when I heard about Bruce Lee, who broke his back, he was in traction, he came back fitter and stronger than ever, did it give me hope. And that was the first thing that turned my life around. And in that moment when I had hope, suddenly a light went on. A light of, this can happen. And I started to study the power of the mind, the body, and the spirit. And every single one of you, I can tell you now, you do not know what you're sitting in. Your body is so powerful, beyond what the mind can understand. When you have your spirit, pulsing through you in life, when you start to love what you do? Let me ask you a question. Do you think that your thoughts can make you well? Yes or no? They took me out of this machine. I took three steps. Never went back in the machine. Didn't understand how those steps happened. All I said was whatever said I was going to walk again, you, I believe it. Let's make this work now. Are there miracles happening every day on this planet? Yes or no? Yes. Social media, we're seeing them all the time now. That's why there's a power inside every single one of us that when we can start to plug into these high frequencies, you will live a life beyond what you're dreaming at the moment. And this is not a gimmick. So then the story goes on. I start to walk again. I start to jump again. I start to crawl. I start to be free within this body. And eventually, I went back to gymnastics, which my mum wasn't too happy about. She was like, why would you do this? You know, why did you break your back again? And I was like, well, if I break my back again, creating stuff with your work colleagues, knowing that you can be pushed hard to meet the deadlines, knowing that you can work early, finish late, and love what you do, and be rewarded for what you do so that you can spend that money with your loved ones. Isn't that the life that we all want? where we've got the health, the energy, the vitality, the playfulness. We're going on adventures all the time, and we're not breaking down in the process. Because one of the things that's happening in the business world now is, do you know the first sign of a heart attack? It's the heart attack. That's the first sign. And do you know, and there was a study done on this, where all around the globe, do you know when the first, uh, there's a time when most people have their heart attacks? When is it? 
9 o'clock Monday morning. What happens to most people at 9 o'clock Monday morning? They're getting ready in the right way. The way that life is set up, they're now saying two out of every three people are either going to get a cancer, a heart disease, or diabetes. Two out of every three people. This is crazy. The first sign of the heart attack is the heart attack. Now, if you don't learn how to create this balance in life, balance in the body, balance in the mind, balance in the spirit, so that you take the best you into all areas of life that you get connected to, without that balance, things are going to start to shut down. Things are going to break down. Now, what we learn at these events is not how to have a breakdown, how to have a breakthrough, no matter what happens in life. Because let me ask you this question. Now you know my story where I was told I was never going to walk again. Do you think that if life said to me, I'll tell you what, Skip, we can take that experience away where you never broke your back? What's that government this planet? And at that event, I'll explain these laws in detail so when you understand the laws, you can start to get in flow with them. This is what the winners on the planet, they get this stuff. And unfortunately, I didn't get raised up, I didn't get taught this in schools, in university, in colleges. This stuff isn't in the mass population yet. Hence, why Aaron said, you know what, Skip, let's take your events, let's bring them over to the Philippines. Let's give them to the people over there. These people need this. And when you've got it, you've got it for a lifetime. Because I can give you a fish, I feed you for a day. I teach you how to fish, you feed yourself for a lifetime. When I've taught you this stuff, You've got it forever, and you'll get it in one day. But then your journey begins. We do the training, and it's a fun day. It's a real fun day. You're gonna have a lot of fun. You'll meet some amazing people. And so when I was doing this movie, I teach people the healing happened at hyper speed. And three days later, I was on stage doing this event, and three days after that, we flew up to, Malaysia, uh, to Singapore and done an event there. And how fast the healing happened, it blew. When I went back to the UK, I had medical experts around me. They couldn't understand how fast I healed. Now, is there anything different in me than what's in you? No. I'm exactly the same as every single one of you. I've just learned some lifestyle habits that are really fun to implement. And when you implement them on a daily basis, and you start to get the best out of yourself, you'll be addicted to becoming the best version of yourself. Now, to give you a, a, an example of how powerful this stuff is, one of the advanced courses that we were doing over in Spain, we had a lady come to the event, and or she, before she came to the event, she said, oh, I heard you called the Miracle Man. Um, I was born um, not being able to hear. Um, you know, I'm deaf. Can you heal my hearing? I said, it's kind of not how it works. I don't kind of stand over someone and wave my hands and go, you're healed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the game of life works. I said, what I can do is I can get you activated. I can get you plugged into these frequencies where just like when you receive music, you will receive an energy, you will receive information, you will receive wisdom, you will receive a knowingness of the energy, the, and I know that sounds weird, but this is true, the energy that creates worlds in our universe, you open up and that energy pulses through you and you get empowered. Every single one of you that opens up to it. So anyway, so she comes to the event and we've just watched the sunrise out of the sea and there's 49 processes that I take people through on this advanced course. And the next process, the second process of that day, she falls to her knees. Now, let me give you some background on this lady. She was born not being able to hear. She had six operations throughout her life to try and hear again. After each operation, she could hear a little bit, but then the hearing went. When she went to her 40s, they said, we can't do any more operations. There's too much scar tissue there. You're gonna to have to spend the rest of your life. We can't put a hearing aid in uh, for what you've got. You're gonna to have to spend the rest of your life not being able to hear. She opens up, because if you want miracles to happen, you have to believe it. If you want to be financially independent, you have to believe it. If you don't believe it, what's the chances of it happening? I can tell you now, pretty much zero. So belief is such a powerful thing. And she opened herself up, and she fell to her knees, and I just knew what happened. 
And I said, and I never stop a process for one person because there's always many people going through the same process. And I said to him, I said to everyone, I said to the guys, I'm really sorry to stop this process, but all of us have just witnessed a miracle. She looks up, she goes, how do you know? And if we have people who are deaf on the retreats, we bring out people who sign language so they can still understand what I'm saying. And I said, I don't know how I know, I just know. I said, but you tell the story. And she said, about five minutes ago, I don't know what happened, something in my ears went boom. And she went, almost immediately, I could start hearing the waves and I could start hearing Skip's voice. She now has perfect hearing in both ears. Isn't that cool? So whatever needs to be healed, it might mean your business might need healing. It might mean that some of your mental focus might need healing. It might mean some of your physical body needs healing. We all need healing and cleansing and activating on a daily basis. When you get that, that's how you get to supercharge your life. And to bring these events out here in June is gonna be such an honor because one thing I know is that the Philippines have not experienced these teachings. They're a lot of fun. You're not gonna be sat at the events like you're sat here. You're gonna be going through your own journey. And when you come out the other side, you will leave that event looking through a different set of eyes. You will see yourself different. You'll see life different. You'll see people different. Simple saying, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And who has to be the change in life? Do we expect the world out there to be the change? Or do we need to be the change? Someone tell me. Choose to live. If we choose to believe what we're told, what do you think becomes our reality? That truth. Remember, nothing in life means anything until you give it a meaning. Now, for the first four months where I was in the machine, just moving up and down like this in the machine, believing I was never going to walk again because of what I was told. My belief system was, I'm never going to walk again. They've seen this again and again and again, and no one heals from this. If I didn't hear about Bruce Lee, my belief system wouldn't have changed. This is why go beyond all programming that's gone in your mind. What makes the sun shine? We don't know. What makes Wi-Fi? We don't know. What makes the grass grow? We don't know. We know it's all energy. And when you can plug into these higher states of consciousness, these high energy levels. And it's not an energy where you're like a cra crazy Tasmanian devil spinning out of control. I think the word stress is overused by people and that people um, keep using stress as an excuse not to, not to um, pursue their best thing. Brilliant. Thank you. So two things I'd like to tap on to. She, she really hit on a great, great topic. And Rich Branson said this, when you love what you do, you're never going to work a day in your life. Nice. That's the key thing. And he's one of the planet's most famous, most successful entrepreneurs. You've got to love what you do. You might be thinking, oh, well, I've got to do this, this. Find a way to love it. <laughs> you can look for new ways how to love things in life. Now, this whole stress thing is most people are having stress breaking down. Food stress is coming in, so they're eating stuff which is draining the body of energy. They're creating stress in their mind, so mental stress is having an effect on their physical body. Then they go to emotional stress, and that emotional stress, we now know a lot of the physical pains that people are experiencing, they're not physical pains. They're these trapped emotional energies around the body. Hence, when people come to the courses, and you'll see this at Supercharged Life, there will be people come to that event who have physical pains and they've been having treatment for their pains for oh, weeks, months, years sometimes, and you will see their pains just gone. Why? Because we're moving the energetic stress through and out of the body. So what I really believe, and there's environmental stress, there's relationship stress, there's work stress, there's drink stress, there's all these stresses that break the body down. Now stress in the business world and stress in life is what I found. When you live a supercharged life, where you see things from a higher perspective, where you're not caught up in the story of something, where you're not caught up in the drama of something, and suddenly that stress comes in, because are you gonna have stress in business, yes or no? 
Yeah, but not one no came out of every single one of you. So every single one of you know that there's going to be stress in business. So why would we go to business if there's stress? Because stress, and what we have, and this is phenomenal, stress, fight, and listen to this, because you're not going to believe this. This is true. Stress, when we're under stress, it fires off exactly the same signals as excitement. Exactly the same. But because we're pinning the negative meaning on the stress, that stress then breaks us down. So this is what makes the difference between a Richard Branson and the entrepreneur that's failing. Has Richard Branson had businesses that have failed, yes or no? Yes. In his brand, where there's hundreds of virgin brands, not all of them have worked. And not all of his ideas have worked. You're never going to go out and everything you do is going to turn to gold. It's not going to happen. All you can do is have an idea in business, put it to the marketplace with a team, with an idea, with a concept, with a way of adding value to people's lives. But if it doesn't add value to people's lives or the competition or somebody else is adding more value or they can do it in a cheap way, you will miss the marketplace. And that is the business life. But if you're not supercharged, you will keep coming up against stress and it will keep beating you up. Whereas when you love what you do, because without me sounding weird, we live in a vibrational reality. Life happens in waves. Now you see the earth, it moves the waves. You look at sound, it happens in waves. Now sometimes when we're on the top of the curve, this is where the magic happens. Okay, let me explain it another way. If I draw a line here, and this line is like, uh, like the ocean. Below the ocean, we can't breathe. But below the line, there's stress. Below the line, there's pain. Below the line, there's frustration. Below the line, there's poor me, victim. Blaming, shaming, complaining about stuff. All this stuff happens below the line. Now, we all dip below the line, all of us, every single one of us. But a lot of people live below the line. If you make a decision from below the line, you just screwed your life up. Because it's not an empowered decision. This is why you have to learn to become supercharged to come back above the line. When you come back above the water, you can breathe again. And above the line, there's success. Above the line, there's empowerment. Above the line, there's enlightenment. Above the line, there's not you being a part of the problem, there's you being a part of the solution. Because as there's a problem rising up in business over here, what the 1% of the entrepreneurs know, and they get excited about this stress, because most people get involved in the problem and oh God, and there's stress and there's panic and there's all this stuff going on and people start freaking out. So as this problem is rising up over here, because remember what I said earlier, where focus goes, energy flows. If I'm focused on the problem, what happens? I become a part of that problem. But as the 1% of the entrepreneurs know, as this problem is rising up over here, we don't get sucked into the problem, we change our focus and we now focus towards the solution. When it, you're never going to stop people talking. You're never going to stop people. Uh, you learn, but as soon as you start to be outspoken, and for me, when I really woke up, the, like, to me, the awakening in life is to wake up in the human body. I don't mean like wake up like we wake up every day as human beings. I mean, you wake up to the bigger picture of life. And one of the first guys who I coached, he sold his company for 356 million bucks. And he was my first ever client. And he was my first ever client. And he taught me something that I've taken with me um, around the world. And he said, opinions are like buttholes. <laughs> he goes, you're gonna have to learn this skill. He goes, because you've got to go out there, you're gonna be a public figure. And he goes, sometimes when you stand up, people are gonna throw you roses and flowers. He goes, sometimes when you stand up, they're gonna throw you rotten tomatoes and stones. And he said, you have to learn to accept all of them with love. So he says, opinions, he goes, everyone's gonna have an opinion. And he goes, but they are like buttholes. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, everyone's got one, and most of them stink. <laughs> so to me, when there's uh, people who are saying stuff, let them have their opinion. When you're so centered, when you're so grounded, and you know that you can add value to people's lives, that's what you do. 
and when you remain in your truth, because truth, okay, let me show you an example. Let me, I want to find a strong guy in this room. Who's a strong guy? Yeah, grab him, grab him. Come in. Come over here, give a round of applause. A strong guy, a strong guy. Come on. So what we're going to do now is I want you to understand and see what happens when you stand in your truth. Because this is how you deal with it. Because when you're in your truth, there's an energy that pulses through you. And the truth is, you then don't care what people think. You care about adding value. But what then comes back, you're not doing it to get reaction. You're doing it to give. And you've heard the saying, the secret of living is giving. The only way that you can ever be in a successful relationship is to go in and give. If you go in to take, that relationship is on its downward spiral. So what we're now going to do is we're going to see what happens to the human body when he's in his truth. And we're going to see what happens to the human body when he's not in his truth. And this is so cool because you'll be able to do this on your partners and you'll love it. So whatever your strongest arm is, put your strongest arm out to the side. That's your strongest arm, yeah? So kind of do it this way so we see the audience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pull down and you're going to resist me. So do not, you keep your arm up, and I'm going to try and pull you down, and using your strength, we're going to see what strength he's got. So when you do this, you're going to say, your name is, and what's your name? Ralph. Right. So you're going to say, so I'm going to try and pull him down, and he's going to say, my name is Ralph, my name is Ralph. And because it's the truth, there's going to be a certain amount of strength that he's going to feel within his body. So hold it, let's get it right to the side. So then say, my name is Ralph, and because the truth is done, let me get you down, go. <laughs> so I got him down, but we felt his strength. Now watch this. So put your arm up. Now we're just going to tell the tiniest white lie. Because the mind can lie. This beauty, this physical body, it can't lie. That's, and spirit definitely can't lie. Spirit's eternal. So now we're just going to make up something that's not really going to affect anything. And we're just going to say, I oh, don't know, my name is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and because it's not true, Let's see what happens to his strength. So say, my name is Mickey Mouse. No strength. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Go back to the other way, try it the other way. So, so you pick which one you want to do, the truth or the lie. Because it's not gimmick, this is real. So what do you want to do, the truth one or the lie? Truth. So you say, my name is Ralph, don't let me eat. Now go. Right, so I still get down, but there's resistance there. So now go back to the lie, say, my name is Mickey Mouse. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. The human body cannot, like, give a big round of applause. that govern this planet. Now that event, I'll explain these laws in detail so when you understand the laws, you can start to get in flow with them. This is what the winners on the planet, they get this stuff. And unfortunately, I didn't get raised up, I didn't get taught this in schools, in university, in colleges. This stuff isn't in the mass population yet, hence why Aaron said, you know what, Skip, let's take your events, let's bring them over to the Philippines, let's give them to the people over there, these people need this. And when you've got it, you've got it for a lifetime. Because I can give you a fish, I feed you for a day, I teach you how to fish, you feed yourself for a lifetime. When I've taught you this stuff, you've got it forever. And you'll get it in one day. But then your journey begins. We do the training, and it's a fun day. It's a real fun day. You're going to have a lot of fun. You'll meet some amazing people. And so, so we're going to do this movie.